Hee <laughs> Nope. It's a performance, after all. Groovy. Hey there, plushies. I'm your friend today, but let's play Spider One. I cannot believe I'm actually doing this. It's due time that I finally go into. A, uh, at least, in, well, they're only the pub publisher, but seeing them there gives me aneurysms in everywhere. So yeah, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Everybody knows the movie. Everybody knows the game, especially the people who have ever played. The, this on the Commodore 64 or the Amiga. And were born in the 80s. There's some uh, infamy to these games because they're not good. They're not good at all. They follow the uh, movie too much to the T. Don't be confusing this with the uh, Genesis version or the arcade game. <coughs> Those two are completely different to what this is. The arcade game is awesome. And also, microphone, get out of the screen. The, the uh, arcade version is awesome. The Genesis version is a usual platforming game. But the C64 and the Amiga version are something completely different. So, how about I just get into the game and show you how different? Who's bad? Well, you were. I like it that they actually did use the uh, real music for this. In the uh, Commodore 64 version, they used some kind of renditions, but in the Amiga, they actually ripped the music into the game, apparently. And those uh, big-headed people that you saw, they're supposed to be the real people, and Michael Jackson was there, and they saw him, and now they're chasing Michael. So there's fans around the whole place. They're the uh, yellow dots, as you can see. Those are people that are after Michael because they want his music, his talent, his name, his everything. After all, he was big back in the day. And this is, uh, this is the premise of the movie. You're in the, uh, in one of the Hollywood movie studios. Well, you are Michael Jackson. So he's in the, uh, trapped in the movie studio because all these fans just want to get him. Man, this game was so much easier on the Commodore 64. I mean, these guys are like, they know exactly where Michael is all the friggin' time. This is not easy. But what you need to do is collect all items in the order that they are blinking. Collect all the items, and once you have done so, you can escape. So I got the key, I still need the microphone, uh, the Statue of Liberty, and the uh, video cam. Why Statue of Liberty? Who the hell knows. And uh, I do have limited amount of uh, stamina, and I don't know how long I have it for. So not only do I need the four items, I also need to get each and every item of a disguise that Michael has to wear so he can escape. Uh, so one of those blinking items that we see is a part of the first part of the disguise that I need to get, and I'm also out of stamina. I don't even know where... There is no stamina! I have 19 lives, even though that doesn't really help, because this game is nigh impossible to play through, the first, even the first level. I mean, you can see how much these guys are hounding me already. I mean, Commodore 64 version I did pretty well because it was pretty easy compared to this one. But I wonder if I can get even the first uh, piece of uh, the disguise that I need to get. Can I get past this car? Well, I did. Good. I'm just trying to get to the blinking lights. The bringing... No, grandma, no, or whatever you are. Michael! Run! Wow, I got a boot. That's one of the first part. I need to get the second boot next. Yes, you have to get one item each time. I mean, he also gets gloves, and that's one hand at a time. And what the, what is the disguise that he used to escape 
the movie studio a giant bunny suit. Hey, don't look at me, that's uh, how the movie went. How did you- They made this version way too difficult. And also, yes, if you haven't noticed, I'm on a timer! Got two and a half minutes to get all of these items. There, gotcha. Now I can run this way. Alright. And the last part was the uh, last item over here was the uh, Statue of Liberty. Liberty. Um, how do I get to the Statue of Liberty? Oh, this way. This way, this way, this way. You think there are nobody in here? There. I got all of those items. Now I just need to get the disguise, which is another shoe, pants, two parts of gloves, a shirt, and a mask. Should it be too difficult? In the uh, Commodore 64 version, all these uh, fans, the enemies of the game, they only started to really careen towards you when they spotted you. These guys see you through walls. So I did try to play this back in the day on my Amiga. Never got far, because this is impossible. At least I'm smarter these days, so I can... I kinda know how to ditch them. Just gotta use the environment to my advantage. I do like the uh, way that they've actually portrayed the game. That Michael looks like him, he would belong. This feels like I'm playing a GTA game. Can I get the pants before? Nope. Gotta get them in order. That's how stupidly this is programmed. And I got one minute left. Oh, great. I'm never gonna make it. There's the other shoe. I am never going to get past this, am I? Well, at least when you die, you, the, uh, you keep the items and the timer resets. So that's a good thing. Still doesn't help when all of these people just to uh, come at you at lightning speed. And I think the cowboy that killed me the first time was the first kill. Uh, I think he always spawns in, but he's always in the upper left corner where you start at, and he can be a real bitch in the way that if he's always there, so he can stun lock into you permanently dying on him. Because you spawn, he's there, he kills you, spawn again, he's there, he kills you, and then, then it's just game over. Oh yeah, they didn't program this well. Not at all. Mm -mm. Quality assurance? Who needs that? Well, we got a game to put out. I mean, this was all the Commodore 64. It's gotta be just the same game. It's not. Commodore 64 is a lot easier. Like, I already explained why. I need to explain again. Ugh. At least the, the enemies are in places where they cannot get me. Now I got the pants. So, whoa. What's the next item? I don't see any blinking greens. There it is. So there was the one glove, and then there's the second glove that I need to go get to. Hope oh, I can get there. I don't know if I can get, get there. That's the exit. Oh crap, I'm out of stamina. Get away from this guy. He's really coming for. Oh crap, come on, run, 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 run. <laughs> If there would be some kind of a meter to tell you, uh, like, uh, how... Any kind of bar for the stamina would have been nice. But it's uh, US Gold. When they publish games, they only publish crap that they don't check out. Why need to check if the quality is good for the game when you just need to publish it? Because, hey, it's Michael Jackson, Moo Walker, we get money. Right? Right. I don't even know if these games were on the Amiga and the C64, if they were big successes. 
I just know that everybody remembers this game, the game not being good. And you can tell why. Awfully tied to time limits. Why even have a time limit in a game like this? This awfully tight time limit, stupidly annoying AI, no stamina health bar, and it's a collection game. You just collect items, so you can escape. But it's just like in the movie. Nothing needs to be exactly like in the movie. Let me just take a look at the arcade and the Genesis version. Those have nothing to do with the movie other than some set pieces. And that's it. That's the only link to the movie that those two games have. Of course, uh, the big, uh, bigger being with the Genesis. Uh, well, I think it's on both that you save children. Okay, that, that's the whole premise of the movie. Michael Jackson uh, saves uh, children from this bad guy. Ugh. I'm running out of time before I can even get there, and then I have to run all over here again. Just to get where I need to get to. The minimap doesn't really help you much because it's just a radar, right? It would be nice if there would be some... Mm -hmm. Then I run into the car. Hey, good for me. That would have been nice if there would be some kind of uh, hints of outlines of the walls on the minimap. On the radar to help out a little bit, but no, let's make the game as uh, difficult as possible. Because everybody likes difficulty, right? No, we like difficulty, but not impossibility. Impossible games are a total different thing from uh, horror games. At least the game is not like totally impossible, but it, it like it's doable, but is it enjoyably doable? Not really. There's a lot of things to hate about the game. And back in the day, I hated this game a lot. Only good thing back in the day anybody would say about this game? The music. I mean, it's just samples from uh, Michael Jackson's uh, greatest hits. Like, right now we're just hearing, hearing nothing but the uh, breathing and the uh, bass line of... Uh, bad. You're so bad. I'm bad. You know it. You know I'm bad. I'm bad. You know it. You know. You know I'm fat. I'm fat. You know it. Shamona. Ugh. At some point, I will. Yeah, you heard me. I mean, wouldn't you be that? So all we are missing right now is the mask. We need the bunny head, which was up uh, here. I remember somewhere up here. And actually, I do have to commend them. They did get all the uh, all the places from the beginning of the movie. Then there's the. Uh, Civil War part or WW2 part. We use all those uh, sandbags and think of machine guns. And the Western part, I hate, I hate, I hate the cowboy. He's the fastest and he just comes out of nowhere. Does the homing missile right at you and there's nothing you can do about it, especially when you don't have any stamina for running. I really hate them. Your breathing in our ears is not helping my situation there, Michael. <laughs> All that hot air into my uh, hot ears. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? <laughs> I'm so going the wrong way. When you're when you uh, don't have any stamina and you have to walk, you're slower than anybody. Everybody's faster than you. That's what's just the most annoying about this, so if you, like I said, stamina bar would have helped a lot. Would have made the game a little bit more playable. A lot better. And also, why does the rabbit head have to be in the hardest part? I mean, it has to be, of course, on the hardest part of the game, because otherwise it wouldn't be a challenging game. I think that's what they were thinking. 
It's not one of those AVGS situations. What were they thinking? It's more like, um... They were thinking. Some. There. No, I'm in the disguise. Like that he wears in the movie. A giant rabbit. But also, a lot of the uh, people and the rabbit suit and everything were done in the movie. It's done with claymation, so it was really, really revolutionary. Because it looked uh, kind of cool and all that. Well, not really revolutionary. Claymation was a big thing back in the day. But, they, but for the movie, it was very interesting. Also made it made the movie universe really weird because it was like, uh, there's real people, but also claymation people around. Like caricatures of people. Like the, all the people changing me that you have seen, they were claymation characters in the movie. Just claymation characters. Stop that doing that. I need to fix my emulation, I think. Am I going the right way? I think so, but there's somebody up there coming right at me. No paparazzi, no. Besides, I'm in the disguise. They shouldn't be able to see me anymore. Well, let's get to the motorbike. Good thing I checked out the time that I still had time left. Hey, I made it to level two. Woo! I never did that back in the day on the Amiga. I played the Commodore 64 version a couple of times on streams and I did pretty well on that. Hardly any deaths on the first level. Here I died four times, well one of them was just my own derbiness, but I would have died eventually anyway because the time was running out. Now let's see level two, how badly I will do there because now we drive on that. Yes. It's pretty much the same level as the first level, but now we are driving on the motorcycle. And we are out here to look for various items, yes? Mister with the Mickey Mouse. And yeah, we're collecting crystals so we can turn into the car from the movie. Yes, Michael Jackson turns into a car in the movie. And we're avoiding apparently very trigger-happy guards. Or something. I'm not really sure what is happening here. Other than there's a lot of people out here that are just looking out to kill Michael Jackson. This is just like in the... Uh, the Commodore 64 version is as hard as this is! God damn it! But at least now it's not like, go for this first and then this. No, you just need to collect all the crystals. And destroy bags of cocaine or something? I'm not just I was focusing on the freaking radar, not on the screen itself. Meow. Oh. Meow. Ooh. Hey. Hey, why, why are we? You're just a normal person. Why are you after me? You don't know that I'm Michael Jackson. I'm in disguise. I'm in the skies. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. And now you cannot speed up or anything. Now you just are the motorcycle destroying sandbags and uh, getting crystals. Well, I'm trapped. There's. Oh, ha! Oh, made it. You guys suck a lot of otabata. Let's see if I can find my way over to everything else. Would be surprising if I actually can't get through this level. On the Commodore 64, I pretty much died all the time here. I did turn into the car! A couple of times. But then I died. I couldn't get to level 3. Well, that's fair. That he can shoot. Oh, come on! How is that fair? God damn it. How am I supposed to get past this guy? There. Guess I just needed to wait until he's gone. Oh no. 
the other car. Riding you all by your rawr. And I already turned into the car. Did I actually make it through? Woohoo! Now I'm in the car! Now where do I go? I don't know if there Where's the exit? I don't I, I have no clue. Oh! I what? What? Just what? What just happened? I guess that's where I need to get to once I turn into the car, but just what happened? I didn't see any enemies. Did you guys see was well, one of the uh, walking guys suddenly appeared right up there and then destroyed me? Sniped me from half around the world? I really hate this game. This is such crap. Just utter bull. That's what this whole game is. Just, It's not a good game. In total. Not a good game at all. So many things around that could just kill you. It just doesn't make any sense why even those guys on the trolley vehicles, whatever they are, where you sit to drive around. Those guys, why they want to stop you. You're not part of the police or anything. You're just people. Why do you want to kill me? Have some sense. Make sense, game. Or did I possibly run out of time last time? Time, time. I mean, it could have been. When I turned into the car, I was already running so much out of time, I didn't even notice. And I missed out on a uh, freaking... Freaking! It's not from here, is it? Oh, there it is. Got it. So now it's just that last one, and then I drive over there to the left. All right. Let's go! Oh, shit. They actually made it! And now I'm... Mama! <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I'm coming home. <laughs> Why do I need to be more? Why is the no? Just, just end me. This game sucks. This game sucks so much. Just end me. I want to get to the high score. I'll take that. One more <laughs> points. My last place! Oh. Spit and Few, the exotic moonwalker at your service. This game sucks! I, don't re I really don't like it! Uh, but thank you everybody for watching, hopefully enjoyed, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.